Now, one thing we've noticed in a lot of our videos recently, you guys have had a lot of questions about our space masks. Yes, like why do we wear these crazy looking masks when we're doing resin? And do you guys need them? No. You, yeah, you, you guys don't need the space masks. I think that if, if, you're, if your masks are rated for um, uh, VOCs, volatile organic, co organic compounds, like these masks right here, that's all you really need. But you'll notice, when I'm wearing this, am I happy? Am I sad? Am I shocked? Can you hear him well? Can you hear me okay? Like, because we're making videos, we like these because we want oh, to show we, our- we like not these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, like, we like these. These aren't the best. And for me in particular, you'll notice I have a big beard. A big bushy beard. A big bushy beard. And this doesn't seal that great around beards. Yeah. So it's, it's mostly just because, you know, these clear ones, you can see our faces, which makes it, when you can like see someone's mouth moving, it's easier to understand what they're saying. Even though these, the audio is a little obscured too. Yeah. It's less obscured. So the main reasons we got these, in addition to the beard thing, yeah. is it's better for filming. <laughs> so it. yeah, there are these like 3M masks. They're definitely more expensive. Like I, I wouldn't say get them if you're just, you know, doing an occasional resin project here and there. No, no. Um, but for filming, it makes sense for us. We got these as a long-term investment because it makes editing easier mm -hmm. and it hopefully makes the video better too. Yeah. So it makes sense for us. Yeah. And <laughs> end clip.